In this day and age, when you're out in public, you never know what to expect anymore. You don't know who's going to film you or who might be filming you. But the worst part is when you're working retail and you have a douchebag come up to you and the first thing they tell you is, I'm recording this. Hey, what's going on, man? How you doing? Listen, I'm recording you just because I've had the hardest time returning this. So if you tell me no, I'm going to go ahead and sue GameStop. Um, I, you know, you have nothing. To this right here is an employee who has just heard the most outlandish shit ever and could not believe what the fuck came out of that customer's mouth. The fact that he just mentioned the word sue GameStop was just like a hold up. Wait, what? <laughs> what are you talking about, bro? What to do with this. I just need somebody to tell me no on, on video so I can go ahead and sue GameStop. I'm just trying to get my money back here. So there's so many things wrong with this. The first thing being that the customer thinks that the employee actually gives a shit. I'm gonna tell you straight from ground zero that no retail employee gives a shit. No matter how many customers come in and say, I'm gonna tell X company this, I'm gonna go up to corporate, I'm gonna go to management for this. And you know all of them say inside their head, go ahead and do it. You know why? Cause they don't give a shit. They are here to do a simple job that they are paid hourly to do and that's it. So the second the customer comes in there and says, I'm filming you so that I can sue GameStop, the guy's just probably like, and what's your point? You act like I care. It's one of those situations where you just had the thought popping in your head where you're just like, oh shit, here we go again. I like how he believed that he had the high ground as if he got the GameStop employee by a chokehold, as if he was like, I got the secret sauce. I got the way that I can get y'all in trouble. He's like, just tell me no on camera and I'll be able to sue y'all and get money. <sighs> no, <laughs> like what runs through someone's mind that just capsulate that thought? It would be like me going to Walmart trying to get an item return and then the employee just says no. What, you think You think I'm gonna sue them? You know how much money it costs to sue someone? You know how much it costs to sue a corporation? Someone like GameStop, Walmart, or any of them? You would probably run yourself broke before you ever saw an ounce of money from trying to sue any big corporation, unless you got a solid book closed type of case. Like the amount of times I see people in these clips say, I'm gonna sue you for this, I'm gonna sue you for that, go ahead. But you know why they don't do it? It's because they know they're gonna lose. They know right from the beginning they're going to lose, or they know how much money it's gonna even cost to even start that lawsuit, that they just drop it. They just say, you know what, this isn't worth it. And now this guy just made himself look like a douchebag all over the internet. So I see a lot of these comments hating, right? Saying that I don't got a case and that that's just the way it is. But actually, I called GameStop customer service and they were going with my shit. They were lying to me basically. Cause yeah, they said my shit is returnable and that a district manager was gonna call me. That was three different times. So when you think I'm a male Karen, it's because I've been calling three different motherfucking times. And that's why I'm angry right now. The fact of the matter is your anger comes from yourself. If you would have just done one second of research, you would realize that the bundle is actually returnable per the website, but it has to come back with everything that was inside that bundle and it can't be open. It has to be unsealed and it has to come with everything that originally came with the bundle. That's how you can return it. Those customer support lines were not lying to you. They were telling you the exact truth, but the problem was they weren't telling you what you wanted to hear. I bought the PS5 bundle mm -hmm. and then they made me uh, buy a whole bundle, which isn't even on my receipt. I didn't sign no contract under you guys' policy. It's just unopened things are returnable. Oh, they didn't pass the receipt? Yeah, yeah, go ahead. I think you were in here even when I bought it. So yeah, I got pressured into buying a bundle. I didn't even want it. Pressured by who? GameStop CEO behind your neck? Got a gun pointed to your head? Forced you to buy this bundle? No. Has anybody ever listened to their own thoughts and ever wonder what's going through it? Yeah, I'm gonna tell them I got pressured and yeah, d definitely. That's going to sell it. No, you pressured yourself into buying it. There's barely more than like two people working at a GameStop at a moment's notice. You think a GameStop employee should sit there? You going to buy it? You going to buy it? We're waiting. Time's ticking. We waiting. You going to buy it? I completely doubt that. Every time I walk into a GameStop and then I admit it's been a minute. I don't really use GameStop anymore, but the few times I've been into GameStop, they simply say, welcome to GameStop, and I walk around and I just look at stuff. That's it. They could give two shits what I'm doing. They don't give a fuck. The only thing they're gonna ask you is, do you want their bullshit warranty because they're forced to try and sell that upon you? Other than that, I can roam GameStop freely and just look at shit. So this entire notion, I'd be pressured. They they, I, I got pressured in the body. Who pressured you? You can't even say who. So no, you, you pressured yourself. No one else did it. So I got three games in the charging case. I kept the controller they... Well, I get where you're coming from where you didn't want to buy the bundle, but that's the only way you can get them. 
the system. Okay, what do you mean by that? Um, so through GameStop, right now we're only doing bundles for PS5. Is that in writing? So at the end of this clip, he was like, is there any writing? Is there any formal information? Dog, you said you researched this. You looked up the online policies. So for my own curiosity, I did the same exact thing that he apparently did, except I spent one more second to actually look on the website and just find a bundle and guess what I found? So if you look at any bundle here, I have this bundle open. You can see right here and this corner, it will say not applicable for return on products that were sold as part of a bundle unless the bundle is returned complete and in sealed new condition. Wow, I found the information right there. Whew, boy, I must have found some secret page on GameStop's website that's not accessible to almost anybody. I must have stumbled upon some hidden dark secret treasure. Like this is such a stupid hill to die on. Why embarrass yourself like this? Like, why go through the trouble to do these things? For what purpose? It doesn't serve anything, man. But here's the best part. There's more. I know. So you're going to just say no, huh? Yeah, I can't take it. So you can't give me the refund for this shit right here? No. Like, okay. what Where's your manager working so I can come and fuck with him? Because I'm going to definitely come fuck with him. Uh, it should be tomorrow. Tomorrow? What, what, what's his shift? Uh, he should be in the morning. All right. And what's his name? Um... I just come and yeah, make a f yeah. I'm just gonna come fuck shit up. Like I'm telling you, I'm not. I'm not fucking around. Ah, uh, the good old classic. Where's your manager? Can I speak with them? I am going to get my way one way or the other. Hate to break it to you, buddy, but typically managers don't give a shit either, unless it is something that legitimately they have to deal with. They are not going to deal with it. More times than not, a manager is always working for the company's interest first. It's just like HR. It's just like any other managerial position. Yes, they are also there to help out customers, but they are there to help out customers with legitimate issues. Not douchebags like you who can't spend one second on Google to just look up the return policy or even look at GameStop's website and realize how simple it is to find that you cannot return bundles. Managers don't care about people like that because they know they're just wasting their time because there's nothing to resolve there. The guy has no case. He's standing on a bunch of nothing. This is, yeah, you guys are trying to upsell motherfuckers. I, I could have paid 800 on StockX if that was the motherfucking case. But you're just getting sick now. I don't want no fucking Ratchet and Clank. Are you kidding me? You know what this is, bro. No, like I pay eight hundred dollars for some bullshit. Is, like, say if like you wanted different games, like you legit like. Can you give me in-store credit for all this? Yeah, but can, you can. I can since those are sealed. I can't. And now that I see what does that even case. mean? They're sealed, so they're brand new. Yeah, but I can't sit there and do that because of the simple fact that they're sealed. Like. It, so if I open them, you can I can return them. That makes no, no sense. No, no, now that I've seen it now. Hmm. No, because I've seen it. Like, say if you come back tomorrow and they're unsealed, I'm pretty sure he wouldn't mind you like switching out the games and stuff. No, y'all trying to play me? It's a brand new game, and I'm here to return you keep them. Saying y'all, y'all GameStop, and you represent GameStop. You ain't got no name tag or shirt, but you GameStop. So that's why I'm saying y'all. Yeah, if you well, don't want to represent it, then quit. Um, I work. This is the same exact thing customers fail to understand time and time again. We are only but a number when we work in these retail stores. 99.9% .9 of the time when someone works at any of these retail stores, it is simply to make a paycheck. Nothing more, nothing less. There is no one that wakes up in the morning and says, oh, I can't wait to wake up and go to GameStop today and be bothered by these customers. And oh, boy, I love it being here. Boy, GameStop is amazing to work for. No, people wake up like, fuck, I got to go back here again. I got I got to make money somehow, though. That's what these jobs entail. This is what most of these people do. All we care about is just doing our job and going home and making money. That's it. It doesn't extend beyond that. Almost nobody leaves their job and is like, I can't wait to go back tomorrow. Boy, I had a great day. These are just retail jobs, dog. I'm telling you, none of these people give a shit about you or your problem. I don't understand why it's so hard for people to grasp this concept. It's like when people go to Sam's Club and they tell you, oh, well, I'm going to go to Costco. Fucking go. Who cares? You think that Sam's Club employee is going to call the big manager? Hey, boss, we got one that's leaving. He threatened to go to Costco. You know how fucking big Walmart is? You know how fucking big Costco is? Doesn't hurt them. One person leaving doesn't matter because you know why? First of all, they already got you for a membership. So until that membership expires, it doesn't fucking matter. Second of all, you're one person. For the one person that leaves, there's probably another 10 who will come in after you. I don't, I don't know what's so hard about understanding this shit, man. And to finish off this trilogy, he posted one more video in this series, which was him trying to explain that he wasn't trying to scalp. And that if you looked at his receipt, that apparently he wasn't scalping and that there was no bundle whatsoever on there. Man, you guys got to get your facts straight. Nowhere on this receipt does it say bundle. Everything is rung up separately.
Oh look, I already had Miles Morales. But if you clearly look at it, you can see PS5 at the top and you see the arrows pointing to the things that come with the PS5. I can't believe how much this man has tried to die on the same hill. For what reason? Just to keep being made a fool of yourself? For people to keep clowning you on the internet? What's the point? Anyways, I just wanted to cover this. I wanted to speak on this just because I hate seeing shit like this. And from someone who has worked in retail and has seen a lot of fucking douchebag customers this shit always bothers me because i feel like these customers don't really understand how much of a douchebag they are until they see a reflection of themselves when someone like that comes to their job and they do the same exact shit back to them that's when they really see how annoying it is and then they'll be the same people that'll go online ranting about all oh, these customers are annoying they're they're fucking assholes why are they bothering me when you did the same exact shit for another company and their employee anyways that's all i got for you have a great day yeah